we have been hard at work and thinking about how we could probably uh, expedite this. Now, this slide is, is really some of the interaction that's, that's taking place, but I, what I really want to tell you is the one way of, uh, to do this is to take project by project, and, and the Minerals Council have done a lot of work at the end of last year to understand where these projects are in the different phases and where their bottlenecks are. So that would be one way of doing it, is to, is to take each individual project and, and go to the different institutions and try and, and actually unblock those, uh, those, those problems. I'm sorry, I hope you don't hear there's a storm in Victoria at the time, uh, and, and, and you may uh, hear some, some noise in the background. So this would be one way of doing it. Now, the rest of the slides, and there's only three or four of them, I try to group the, 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 the issues and the, and the possible solutions that we're thinking of. The one is really ab around the environmental uh, uh, approvals, environmental impact assessments, the approvals, etc. Now, in short, our argument is uh, that there are environmental management plans for land that ESCOM, the, the electricity utility, uh, could make available when they decommission plant. There are similar environmental plans for, for mining land, where mines may be closing or making uh, some of their land available. And, and our contention is that that must count for something so that you don't have to go through the whole process and, uh, and, and from the start with all the detail from the start. It's not, and I, and I want to say this, the mining sector does not want to circumvent some of the regulations and we want to stick within the, within the rules but it's simply to speed this up. And if I can finish on this subject, what we really want to see is that some of these uh, 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 approvals must happen simultaneously, in parallel, and not sequentially. From one the second set of issues is really, really cons <coughs> real constraints about on our country too much. Um, as you know, South Africa is a big country, long, very long distance for on different lines. And what has become clear lately is that we don't really have much capacity. And the, the calculations uh, are that it's going to cost over 100 billion uh, uh, rand to actually build the capacity for what we need. And, and you must uh, understand that where there's lots of land and low population density and lots of sun, there isn't much in terms of transmission line, which then has to be built to actually get that access. So that is a big issue. And, and the other uh, uh, issue is really around local authorities, which is not really in, in, in real competition quite relevant. The third group of issues is about land. Land is a very contentious issue in South Africa, and as you probably know, we've been all of uh, studies on, on, on the retribution uh, and redistribution of land. But the real issue is about getting land use approvals and rezoning of land and competition between agricultural land and mining land and, and that is really the issue and a lot of that uh, is handled by the, the Department of Agriculture and, and, and local authorities on the other. There's also the issue of, of mining rights on land which which is not really at the, in a good state. We have many outstanding licenses, many overreach, overarching licenses which, like the proper, proper, which create problems for, for this project. Land claims, whatever you want to develop, you have to go through that process to understand whether there are land claims on, on, on a specific piece of land. And then short-term issues, I mean, you have to talk to the telecoms people, the SANDF, the weather service, etc. So those three uh, large groups, they are all technical and, 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 and lots of issues around them. But just in for time and to give you a flavor of, of what it is and what we are thinking. Then the electricity utility, they have to basically do, we have to go through them as well for two issues. One is the assessment of the, the new supply connectivity, whether it's possible at all to plug your, your, your generation plant in. And the second issue is the quality of that, of that electricity that you would be offered to the, offering to the system. And, and I don't understand the electricity that well, but it's, it's, it's like water in your pump it's, it's less pressure than, than in that in the system, you become a drainage on, 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 on the system, and that can't be allowed. And there are several issues, I'm not going to go into detail around this, 
that has to be approved and then letters given of what the cost would be, etc., etc. And and uh, we have now asked that there are regular sessions with the managers, the project managers, and ESCOM on this. And and here again, ESCOM has been. I won't say taken by surprise, but all of a sudden there are not them only that are applying for this, but several and, and, and a real big number of, of companies that are that are looking into this, which is to just uh, it to a degree um, overwhelming the, the system of approval. Then secondly on this slide is the wheeling of electricity. In other words, uh, uh, I, I spoke about the transmission lines and the capacity constraints there. Uh, there is no real framework for national framework for how much it's going to cost, what it means, what the drift codes are, etc., etc., and and that has to be clarified. And our solution to that is that ESCOM's uh, willing framework should become the national framework so that we have standardization on that. And then lastly, uh, uh, an issue which is really, I would imagine, peculiar to mining. Mining, of course, as you know, each mine has a different uh, life of, 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 of operation. And each mine has a different need of electricity that it would consume. And often the economic viable, viable side of these uh, generation projects are not at sync with, with either the life of mine or, the, um, or the, the, the amount of electricity that it needs. So you may have to build a, 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 a 300 megawatt plant, but the mine will only use say 150 of that. And what do you do with the rest? to make it viable economically. The 300 is where you really should go, but you need to, you, you can't buy it yourself. So this comes down to, to how that should be handled as, as a first uh, 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 important issue. But secondly, the whole, the whole uh, issue around trading of it. And, and in this case, ESCOM has, has been uh, broken up into three different uh, Entities, one for generation and one for transmission and one for, for uh, distribution. And this is where that new era of how uh, uh, electricity will be provided into the system from different customers. I myself, for example, have, have solar panels on my roof and I don't use everything. So how would that work? How do I sell it to the local authority, the quality, etc., etc.? So you can imagine from a, a very vertically integrated system where the generator was also the, the seller and, and, and controlling the whole system to, to multiple different sources and and and, uh, and, and buyers of, uh, of the electricity. It's really a, a, a big shift in, in the way the electricity supply industry in South Africa operates. Not that it's unique, I mean other countries have done the same, but we are in this process now. And, uh, and, and, and there is some learning to be done. And unfortunately, a lot, a lot of this uh, takes time and, and, and there's caution on it, which is understandable. So firstly, and this is really uh, uh, appreciated from the president's, presidency side, and perhaps for you that don't know, there's been a, a unit established between the tre treasury and the presidency to actually try and help facilitate some of these bottlenecks in other fields as well, in water and in even road infrastructure, but electricity is an, is an important one. And and uh, really, uh, no oh, taking over of any of the different entities' roles and authorities, but to help and try and solve the, the bottlenecks in it. So if it's within a department, they will try to solve the problem there. If it's between departments, they will get the the heads of those uh, departments together. If it's between, if it's a political issue, then of course it's close to the And what has happened recently, and this is really the last ten days, is there's been asked, uh, the president been asked for secondment from the private sector, which we are absolutely happy to do, uh, which will help uh, and bring the understanding of, on the one hand, the project, on the one, on the other hand, the how the system works. And uh, uh, etc. And different expertise will be going into the pit to help to facilitate that. 